Good morning guys. Welcome to my channel. Today we are having a nice pool day. I can't believe that she's still keeping those glasses on her. <laughs> you look so cute, little cute patoot. <laughs> um, today I'm really excited because Michael is going to get to see Mercy swim for the first time. I take her, okay, I take her to swim lessons um, every Thursday and we've been doing that for a few months but um the since our pool just opened up at our club um we're gonna take mercy and michael's gonna get to swim with her so we're going to brunch and then um later in the day i think mommy's gonna get to, to get a mani pedi when mercy's napping so ready to go girl oh there she took them off you little cutie are you excited to take Mercy swimming, hun? Uh, yes, I uh, actually haven't uh, seen her swim uh, in person. I've seen her on uh, Facebook. I haven't seen her swim in person. Uh, yes. Are you looking forward to swimming? <laughs> Michael, what did you order? I got the uh, chicken palm. Pizza style, two eggs. You know, I call any chicken and egg dish the mother and child reunion. So we're having the Italian mother and child reunion. I never ever ordered chicken and eggs. It's the mother and child. I reunion. think it's creepy. I think it's like well, there's the only, something wrong with it. The only problem I have with it. Whoa. I love pepper. <laughs> the only problem I have with it is what do you eat first, the chicken or the egg? kind of cannibalistic. I don't like it. I got the classic, which I'm going to share with Mercy. Thank you. Oh, and bacon. Thank you. Hey, Mercy. Hi. She loved it. Hey. Hi, Smiley. Yay. <laughs> Hey, Mercy. Adult swim. Mercy had such a good time at the pool. Um, she just fell right to sleep. And uh, it only took about 10 minutes of nursing her. And then she fell asleep. Um, she just absolutely loves the pool. I'm hoping that Mercy will stay asleep the whole time I'm getting a mani pedi. Um, and then I'm, I need to go by the grocery store too. And luckily they are in the same place. So. She's really not used to being without me, even for short periods of time. I mean, I know that she's 17 months old, but we just don't really spend that much time apart, even just leaving her with Michael. And um, a lot of people think that I'm kind of crazy for that, or like, why don't you just have somebody watch her so that you can get some stuff done? But I don't know, I just don't like to. I don't feel comfortable with it yet. Yeah, I, I mean, the only time that I've let somebody really watch her is when I'm home. In fact, this past Thursday was the first time I had ever let someone, like, take her for a walk without me. And I gotta say, it was, like, totally nerve-wracking because, you know, you just, like, what if something happened, you know? And I know I can't, I can't be like that forever. 
So I have really exciting news. That's that I got AirPods. I love these things. I have been struggling so bad putting Mercy to sleep because I will just have to like lie there for 30 minutes just nursing her with nothing to do because I don't want to look on my phone because the screen wakes her up. And so, you know, I've been using headphones, like the in-ear corded headphones, but they really, like the cord kept getting in the way and they're just a pain, you know, they would always get tangled in my arms or I didn't want them to get tangled in her. So, I finally got these and they are awesome. Because now I can listen to audiobooks or I can like listen to the news when I put her to sleep. Um, and I, I think that I've used them the last two nights and I think that she has definitely like gone to sleep faster because I'm not fidgeting around as much and I'm not looking on my iPhone screen because it, even when you turn it to the dimmest, it's still bright when you're in a dark room. So, so far so good. I really like them. Oh, I hope if there's not a weight at this nail salon. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. My toenails, woo! They need to be cut. Cut and painted. That was not as pleasant as I had hoped it would be. I got my nails done, which was great. I mean, they were so in need of getting done, but there was a mom and her five-month-old baby in the nail salon, and this poor baby was crying, 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 and you know, I hate to be like judgmental or think that I know everything about this woman's baby because I don't and I mean who knows what was going on but this baby was crying and like the, this mom was just like looking down and smiling at the baby and like finally she picked the baby up and calmed it down a little bit but then the baby started crying again and like she just kept on like forcing this pacifier in the baby's mouth and I really think that the baby was hungry I mean I don't know but that crying my boobs because of course I'm still breastfeeding my boobs were like responding to this baby's crying and like I just wanted to get the heck out of there and go home Last night we went to this place called Maggiano's. I think it's a chain, but it's an Italian restaurant and we love going there. I mean, we don't go there very often, but we do like going there because they have these certain pastas. They're like the classic pastas. And it's buy one, take one home, <laughs> which is like the best thing ever for um for moms who want a couple of nights off because you go there and of course you don't have to cook that night and then we eat it for dinner the next night and we don't have to cook that meal and they have like eggplant parmesan is one of them and like a lasagna or um, I think Michael got like beef with popperdell tonight so anyway no cooking for mama tonight hey little baby Hi, Mama. I missed you, Merce. I missed you, Pumpkin. How's my little sweet petite? <laughs> I missed you, babe. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. <laughs> She'll be... Come on. She'll be coming round the kitchen when she comes. There she goes. There she goes. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> there she goes. Watch out, Pablo. <laughs> Poor Pablo. Hey, Michael. My camera. <laughs> 
Tell us what you're doing here, darling. Mm. Well, I'm not going to have my food microwave, no, but I'll microwave yours. What do we have? We have... Uh, beef with pappardelle, right? Beef, uh, braised beef, and we just happen to have braised beef this week, so we have extra braised beef. And then Cameron's uh, fettuccine alfredo. Well, if you want to cook it on the stove, you can be the chef. Okay. <laughs> hey, Michael. Hey, Cameron. <laughs> Since we have a little bit of time, can yeah. we tackle one task before? No, one. Please. One task. I want to. I would like to do the KonMari method on our coat closet. It'll only take a few minutes. On the what? On the coat closet. KonMari was. The KonMari method. What's that method? From what I understand, the KonMari method is that you you take items out of your closet that you love, and only the ones that you love. And anything that's left in the closet is negotiable. Like, you only keep it if you just absolutely need it. Which means that I think that we're gonna get rid of a lot of our coats. Okay, let's do it. Come on. Okay. Oh, I love them. Our coat closet is so damn packed. I love it's these ridiculous. two. I love this. I love these two. I'm done. Those are the only ones. <gasps> oh. Hun! I'm sorry. They okay, what do I love? I love this one. Although it has makeup stain. I still love it. Oh, God. See, here's the thing. I love this one, but it's kind of damaged. Shoot, this is harder than I thought. Okay, I do love this one. Even though it's not in very good shape anymore. Like the lining is all messed up. Do I keep it? I don't know. It's leather. I know, but do I keep it? Is that part of the KonMari method? I don't know. Actually, the lining's not that bad. Maybe it's up around the... It's not that bad. Okay, I'm keeping it. I guess the ones that I like are by guess. God, that's really covered in here. Okay, I do like these. I like these three. And then this one, you got me. Um, this is the, uh, remember, where did you buy this for me? Williamsburg. Okay, I do love that one too. Well, we got a whole lot of coats to donate now, or to sell, as Michael wants to do with a couple of them. And, and this is our nice, clean, organized, coat closet which still looks pretty full to me hey guys um, Michael and I just hit the wall last night and I forgot to end the vlog but we had a great day um, I'm a little disappointed because I wanted to include some um, GoPro footage of Mercy swimming but <laughs> my dad lent me his GoPro and like I don't have a manual or anything and I accidentally set it to take still pictures so we'll have to wait until next time we go to the pool for that um, because I really want to see what she looks like underwater. I mean, I think it'll just be cute. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this vlog and if you like videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and um, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.